Eagle Overlap Welding Instructions How to Weld Securely fasten welder to mounting surface. On the front of the control box is an on-off switch, indicator light and fuse holder. Plug power supply line and thermocouple from welder into left side of control box. On the right side of the control box is the main power cord that is plugged into either a 110 120 volt or a 240 volt AC electric power source depending on the unit. On top of control box is the digital temperature controller. Flip switch on control box to the on position. Using the up or down arrows, set temperature to 205 degrees centigrade or 400 degrees Fahrenheit. The large red indicator light will stay on. On the temperature controller, an indicator light will come on and remain on while element is heating. It is important that you do not start welding until this light goes out the first time. Turn large wing nut several turns counterclockwise until it stops. Pull back on red knob on front sliding die. Remove black star shaped thumb nuts from welder. Select and position the correct V or round dies in welder. Insert a black star shaped thumb nut into each die and finger tighten. When welding V-belt, the split die fits into front sliding section of welder. Using cutting shears provided, cut each belt end square. Slide the end of the belt into rear die until it overhangs approximately 1.6mm or 1 16th of an inch. Clamp belt into position by lightly tightening knurled thumb nut finger tight. On front sliding die, the flat side of holding clamp must face up. Slide end of belt into front die and position exactly the same as rear die. Lightly finger tighten knurled thumb nut. Make sure belt does not contain any twist. Swing coated heating element into position above and between dies. Pull out on brass pin, push down and release brass pin. Turn large wing nut clockwise, moving it forward until both overlapping surfaces contact the coated heating element. Continue turning large wing nut slowly as belt ends melt and material is squeezed out of weld area. Continue turning large wing nut until it stops. Do not over tighten. Important! This next sequence must be done very quickly. For illustration purposes, we will show you in slow motion as we explain each step. After a maximum of 20 seconds, turn large wing nut counterclockwise 3 to 4 full turns. Pull back on red knob until front sliding die stops. On back of welder, pull brass pin out and release coated heating element. Swing heating element away from die area. Immediately push red knob forward and quickly spin large wing nut clockwise until stop is reached. Now, let's take a look at that same sequence in real time. While weld is cooling, 
Use a clean, dry cloth to wipe excess polyurethane material from coated heating element. It is important the heating element be cleaned between every weld. On completion of final weld, flip power switch on control box to the off position. After a minimum of one minute, turn large wing nut counterclockwise several turns. Loosen both knurled thumb nuts several turns and pull back on red knob on front sliding die. Remove belt from welder. Trim the weld flash from the belt using flash cutters included in the kit. Please note the flash cutters have been designed specifically for trimming polyurethane and are not to be used for cutting metal, wire, etc. It is extremely important that you allow the welded belt to cure for a minimum of half an hour prior to installing, tensioning or putting strain on the belt weld. If you have any questions, just call us at 1800 243 3374. Your customer support specialist will be happy to assist you. A complete library of Fenner Drive's installation instructions is available at www.fennerdrives.com forward slash install.